Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make your Galaxy S2 and Galaxy S3 play video games on your TV using a PlayStation 3 wireless Bluetooth controller. So, in order to make this happen, you're going to need several stuff. Um, first, you need an HDMI cable to connect your cell phone to your television. Then, if you own a Galaxy S2, then you'll need only an MHL adapter, which is the one that I'm showing right now. If you're using a Galaxy S3, then you need this small adapter, which converts the MHL adapter from 5 pin to 11 pin in order to output 1080p video. If you're using a Galaxy S3, you can synchronize the PlayStation controller using this ODG cable. So then you're gonna need a USB and mini USB connector to connect the PlayStation controller to your computer or to your cell phone, depending if you're using the Galaxy S3 or the Galaxy S2. Then we're going to need the power supply, the original power supply from Samsung, in order to connect the MHL adapter to your cell phone and to display the image on the television. So in order to get this to work, I'm going to show you the apps that you need to download. In order to play the um, Nova 3 game, which is the one that I'm going to be showing, you're going to need this app. It's called Six Axis. You can get it from the PlayStation Store. So once you open it, on the bottom part of the phone over here, you'll get a local Bluetooth address, which you'll need to input into the computer software, which is 6 Access Per Tool. I'll show you right now. So as you can see over here, once you connect your controller to your computer, you will need to type that MAC address that you're cell phone is giving you through the app. So once you do that, your controller will be able to to pair up with your cell phone. Now since I'm using the Galaxy S3 phone, I don't need to connect the controller to the computer. I can do it through the phone. So since I'm not using any camera stand, I'm gonna stop recording, I'm gonna connect everything and I'm gonna show you how it is supposed to work. Okay, so I have connected the controller to my cell phone. As you can see here, I'm using the OTG cable and the mini USB cable to connect it to the controller. As you can see, the controller slides are going on and off. So right now, what I'm going to do is pair the controller. So in this case, I need to hit the pair the controller. Hit the pair button. So right now, once I start the application, the controller will be able to connect to the cell phone. So once you start, you need to unplug the controller. Then after you unplugged it, you need to hit the PlayStation button. As you can see, the controller is searching and it's already being assigned. So as you can see here, it I don't know if you're going to be able to make it out, but it says Find one connected. Battery status full. So now that you have your controller paired with your cell phone, I'm just going to give you a quick show how to create the, the required uh, profile, touch profile, in order to play with uh, Nova 3 and your Bluetooth controller. So you hit your options over here, as you can see. Then you go to Preferences, then you're going to select Keyboard Emulation, I'm sorry, you're going to select Touch Emulation, then in this case you're going to select Edit Touch Profiles, I'm going to double tap for the menu, since I have already created mine, I'm just going to open up the one that I have already created. So as you can see, what you need to do is you need to take a screenshot of the game playing and then you're going to add the buttons that you're going to use 
in order to play the game. So in order to add the button, you just double click, hit add button, and then you can select which button do you want to add, and just assign it to the actual on-screen buttons that you're using on the game. Okay, now I have completed the connection. You need to connect the adapter for the Galaxy S3 in front of the adapter that goes into the phone from the MHL. Then you need to connect the power supply to the MHL adapter, and in the other end, your HDMI cable. So right now I'm ready to plug it into the television and show you how, it's, how it plays. Okay, so as you can see, I have already the game running. I'm going to show you how the controls work. As you can see, walk forward, backwards, sideways. I can tilt the aim. I can adjust it. I can go to zoom mode. So as you can see, everything is being handled by the controller. So I'm going to play a little bit, and I'm going to show you afterwards how to play on uh, multiplayer mode. Okay, so right now I'm into multiplayer mode, but as you can see, this is the first time that I've entered in multiplayer, so bear with me if I get killed a lot. <laughs> <laughs> 